Hey class, it's Mr. Woodbury. I've got a few questions on this problem, 6.1.25, so I thought I'd put together a quick video for you. Uh, real quickly, before I get started, on the page before this in Objective 5, there is an example problem that's pretty similar, and the video solution is really well done in terms of uh, finding this by hand. I'm going to go through this problem both by hand and how to do it uh, using StackCrunch. So, First, um, there are two events here that the person buying the policy survives the year or they die. And we know that the value to the company, if the person survives, here for me, it's $280. Um, the female buys the policy for $280. If she survives, uh, the life insurance company pays her survivors nothing. Now, um, if she dies, it says that um, she'll get $260,000 or her survivors will, but the $280 has to come out of that. So if we subtract 280 minus 260,000, that will give us the value to the company if the customer does indeed die. And that is negative $259,720. Now, uh, when we get to StackCrunch, we will not enter any dollar signs or the commas here, just the uh, numbers with their sign. Next, we need the probabilities to find this uh, expected value or mean, just another phrase for the mean. The probability that the customer survives is listed for me as 0.999633. And to find the probability that the customer doesn't survive, that's one minus that. It's the complement rule. And when we subtract that, I get 0 0.000367. Now, the problem's going to be different depending on the values that you're given. So, uh, just be careful not to use the values I'm using, but try to use the same approach. Now, to finish this by hand, we need to multiply each value by its probability, and then we will find the total of those products. So, um, you can multiply these out. Let me show you real quickly. Switch over to Desmos. 280 times 0.999633. That is 279.89724. Looks like I'm in the way of that answer. 279.89724. And then we're going to multiply negative 259,720 by this probability. So that was negative 259,720 times 0 0.000367, and that is negative 95.31724. So let me write that down. And let me just make sure I did that correctly. Yeah, I copied that fine. So now, Sorry about that. To finish this problem, I just need to total uh, these two columns. And so, um, back to Desmos one more time, and I can take the first number, 279.89724, and then I'm adding a negative number to that, so I can just subtract minus 95.31724. And there I get $184.58. And so that's the expected profit for the company. So for every um, 
policy they sell of this type, they would expect to earn $184.58. Now we can do this in my math lab, I'm sorry, in StatCrunch as well. Let me show you how it goes. We're gonna construct this table inside StatCrunch and then we'll use the custom calculator to find the mean. So let's go over to StatCrunch. Here, we're gonna to have to type the values in. Sorry for the delay here. Uh, under var1, I'm gonna call var1x, by the way. And underneath that, I'm gonna type 280, the value if she survives, and negative 259, 720 the value if she dies. In VAR2, that's the probability of X, so I'll type that up above. Again, those are just labels, so you don't have to do that, but it helps me to keep things straight. Got 0.999633, and underneath that, 0.000367. Now, um, just like we did in section 6.1, we're gonna go to stat, calculators, custom, the values are in the column X, the weights are in the column P of X, press compute, and the mean for the distribution is listed in the calculator, 184.58, and that's all we need, and notice that's exactly what I had over here. So uh, let me just go ahead and type that in so I can convince you that that's actually correct, 184.58, the answer, and now um, we need to interpret that. Well, the interpretation is going to be pretty easy here because there's only one, um, one value here that uh, matches what we had. The insurance company expects to make an average profit of $184.58 on every 22-year-old female it insures for one year. Now, on any one particular trial, they're either going to earn $280 or they're going to lose almost $260,000. But on average, if we repeat this over and over and over again, this is the expected value of that policy. This is the mean of the policy. Okay. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Good luck.